returning from Boise, Idaho, ready for a college football doubleheader. First stop, Mountain West. Put it on the board. That is a Utah State touchdown. Boise State for the touchdown. The Broncos are division champs. Unbelievable. Aggies are hunting for a bowl game. Touchdown, Utah State. Here we go. It's Black Friday on the Blue Turf. This is the Home Depot College Football on CBS. And this is a gorgeous morning in Boise, in the Mountain West, Utah State, and Boise State. The Broncos arrive on the blue at 7-0 in conference. They are in the championship game next week against Fresno State. Caden Dudley, Tyler Crow, deep for Boise State. And this is Dudley. Straight ahead, has a seam, and a big return out to the 40. Great field position for Boise State, 36 yards. What of a job Curran's got playing that position. Polani again, and this time he busts out across the 45, out to the 46-yard line. Good play today. Third down and three, Holani, and he's got the first down. He's into Utah State territory. Kaleo Nevis out of the backfield. And Green going to go down the sideline. That's Bowens, and it's broken up, almost intercepted. A Johnny Carter, who many thought would not play. He's usually a very loud environment here in Boise. Four-man rush, Lagaw with time, fires over the middle, and it's over the head of Brian Cobbs and incomplete at the yard line. Utah State showed pressure and bailed this time they come. Green, high throw, incomplete, and neither offense looks like it has any rhythm right now. Right near midfield. Lagaw bounces outside, and I don't think he's going to get it. No, he's out of bounds. A yard short, right at the 48-yard line. Far. Aston Genty is in the ball game, and Genty's first carry. Ooh. The Broncos say he's their second best offensive player behind George Halani, and he may be giving Halani a run for his money. Down and four. Halani's back in, and he is going to be short of the first down. Pressure on him. It's a fake. They love to do this. The throw is caught and dropped. And a flag is down. We could have interference. We told you they love to do this. And man, that was creative. Cobbs came rolling around, fired it out to the 40. There was contact and no catch. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Personal foul, targeting, number zero, return team. That's 15 yard penalty, first down. The free to clip is up. Man, a lot going on here, but what's most notable is that Brian Cobbs, your leading receiver, a left handed. Now quarterback throws the ball, tries to get it downfield, Rich. We talked about the specials that they like to dial up on special teams. Midfield is a place to do it. Their kicker has a 50-yarder. This would be a 52-yarder from the line of scrimmage. Lagasse throw, almost intercepted. Rodney Robinson, the free safety. Pulls the junior, 10 of 14 this year. The long from 50, and this one's blocked. Special teams always great with Boise State. Andy Avalos. And Holani in a Wildcat snap looking for a first down. He needs three yards. I don't know if he got it. He was right to the stick. We'll see where the spot is. And he does have the first down. Right at one in the end zone. He got a little mad at me because I called it a fat guy touchdown. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> He didn't like that. Hunter Reynolds makes the hit. That's his back was okay. <laughs> you can't quit it, can't you? That one a throw to the sideline. Caught there. That's Bowens. Makes a cut. Bowens still on his feet. He's 10. Runs out of gas. Reynolds catches him at the five. 
37 yards for a guy who has really blossomed, Billy Bowens. This is a simple pass, and this had a chance to get stopped, but a missed tackle right there on the outside edge by Andre Grayson, who's playing with a separated shoulder. Misses the tackle, can't get Bowens down. We talked about the injuries in the secondary for the Aggies, and it just had an impact here. Backfield. Green looks, fires, corner, caught, McAllister, touchdown. He got his feet in, and Boise State is on the board. Just one on one wins the rep right out of the gate using quickness to get a Johnny Carter to bite inside. Boom, he creates all the separation he needs in money so far. One of the best pass defenses in the country. Lagaz in trouble, trips and is down and is smothered. Matlock on top of him. Iron Bowl tomorrow. Taylor Green this morning. To the sideline, caught there, and Genty out of bounds. Both these running backs and touchdown to McAllister. Uh -oh. Steps up, fires deep. Capel's there, caught it. Capel's touchdown. 49 yards. This play was used with formation in motion. As soon as Capels got inside, there was nobody there left to be able to bring him down. That down and struggling mightily. Blitz comes. Lega with time. Fires out, and it's off the hands of Nana Davis. But I like the no call there. They converted their last four on third down. Now Green is scrambling. Reynolds is chasing. And Green... Braden, three and out. Five receivers, four-man rush, inside screen. Brock Lane with the catch, and that's not going to get it done. Maybe a yard. Fourth down and seven. Nice play on first down, second and ten. Green to throw, squeezed in the pocket, throws there. That's Lauder with the catch, the big tight end. He's across the 40, and spilled down. 42 27 yards and more miscommunication on that defensive backfield bonds completely beats current and get Only for this season though he said still see some confusion in the defense for the aggies trying to get lined up right polani trying to squirt through and he does polani keeps his feet inside the 25 down to the 23 yard line Didn't give up much points three last week only three points off those three turnovers that was the difference man open caught McAllister. Touchdown, his second. Just miscommunication again. Guys are running free. You just see nothing going right on that back end. Andre Gray, if you're rooting for the team in white. Tyler in the backfield. Lega will keep it. And Lega into Boise State territory. That's a big play. That's one of the, the best plays so far for Utah State. Man, this was really good. It completely got me. I thought that they handed the ball off to Vaughn, and so did Boise State's defense. But Boise State. Lega play action. Fires over the middle. Caught there. That's Brian Cobbs with the catch. Second down, six. Lagarde, quarterback draw, has room, has the first down to the 10, and Lagarde spins down to the nine. Rodney Robinson made the stop in touchdown prevention in the red zone. Tyler to the three, third and goal. Lagarde, quarterback draw, and there's the four to five yards, and now it's gonna be fourth and goal, but much closer Fourth and goal. Vaughn in motion, and it's Vaughn trying to get outside. Cuts, and he's in. After all of that, Utah State has a touchdown. Touchdown.
<laughs> this play, Lagarde could have kept it. He was open, but he freezes Shram, and then Brock Lane with that incredible block, hands inside. Got it right. Well, I know Gene knows all the hand signals for sure. Lagarde, little flip, getting outside. That's Terrell Vaughn, and that's correct. Cross the bow, which means they can bring some heat if they want. Lagarde pulls it, fires it up the seam. That's Vaughn. And finally separation and a catch and a big play and down. Vaughn again has a seam, has the first down, bounces off the tackle. Boy, this guy is tough. Terrell Vaughn. Keep it and had the longest run of the game when he did. Laga scrambles. He's loose. Nice move there to the 15. Pushed out of bounds by Simpson. Coming from this side of the field. And there's Vaughn again with it. Looks like he's going to throw. He does, and it's caught. Lane, he dropped it. Oh, he had it. He had it. And then dropped it as he went out of bounds. Shot at three instead of going for it on fourth and three. The kick is up and good. Remember, they missed a field goal. First possession, second half. Boise State. Green pulls it. Yeah. Third down today, 6 of 10. Caples in motion. And the throw to Caples has the catch, has the first down. Second down and 6. Green. Little shot over the middle. Matt Louder lost the ball and it rolls forward inside the 30 and out of bounds. All the big D linemen are out there right now. That's a tight end in motion in Louder. Holani, direct snap on third and short. To the five, dives, and down at the one. Nobody's been able to stop this Clydesdale package. You get big bodies. It's down, down, and around. And keep your eye on this side of the line of scrimmage. It just gets absolutely caved in, and Halani is able to bust it out. A bad angle by the safety. He changes direction, changes the football. When you've got a young secondary that doesn't know what it's doing, it's easy to sneak somebody out of the backfield. Watch a ball this season. Last two possessions, scoring drives for Utah State. Lagaz throw, crossing his Cobbs, who makes the catch. And he's out to the 37-yard line. They rush five here. Lagaz throw is caught. That's McGriff. And he's got the first down right at midfield. Lagaz. Fires to the sideline. McGriff the catch. He stays alive. Needs some yardage. And doesn't quite get back to the stick. This one's going to sneak it. Lega. It's a screen. Maybe a throw. Cobbs fires it across the field. And it's dropped. Tyler was the intended receiver. Jones on the coverage. That's the wildest fourth and one I've ever seen. Creative play call. They fooled me. I thought they were going to sneak it. It's a double pass. We've seen Cobbs throw the ball twice today. Too much air underneath it. And Tyreek Jones on senior day, back from injury, making plays. Pretty sweet, soft hands as well. Second career touchdown catch. A little less dancing this year, it looked like. Hey, Tucker, they've struggled to run the football there, so I don't think a sneak would have been the right call, especially. Man open. It's Vaughn. He's got it. At the 20. Vaughn. And he's in! Touchdown! 65 yards! Terrell Vaughn from Cooper Lega. That's the play that Utah State needed, right? A little bit of play action. The backers don't really bite. But it's just a one-on-one -on -one situation, and Tyreek Jones out of position. Vaughn's has been making his presence felt on the fly sweeps. and Carries right now. Doesn't look like the ice is on there right now. And Genty. Patrick Joyner makes the hit. And that's not going to be a first down. Four-man rush. Lega with time. 
Throws. Coming back to it is Cobbs, who has the catch and the first down. People stunts, but Lagaz able to step up and throw that ball with accuracy. Vaughn with the catch. Survives the hit. Holds the ball and gets to the 20-yard line. And Utah State is still rolling. We're down four. Lagaz on the move. Quick throw. Sideline. Caught there. Josh Sturzer, the tight end. And they mark him inside the 10. Tyler breaks free into the end zone. Utah State has scored again. Got to take a look to make sure he got in. Lagash shotgun rolling right, looking back, throws back. And it's caught by Sturzer, but Boise State is on it. Gabe Hunter sniffed it out. He's here in the second half. Green, with time, fires to the sideline. And a nice catch there, Latrell Capels. As he really blossomed, and he's a youngster. They should have him for a few more years. Dirk Cutter clearly going to the run game. You Third down and three. Green. Middle. Capels, and it's broken up. Now, Von Pachong. Finding the holes in the zone. Tyler has the first down, breaks through to the next level, and gets out to the 44-yard line. Oladipo with the stop. Very due to the injuries and Jail Skinner being out. Blitz comes. Lega going deep. Sideline. And McGriff is there. Makes the catch. Now McGriff stepped out of bounds. You see a hat, but he did reestablish himself in bounds. This catch is going to count. And Utah State finding ways to go vertical again. And Lega on the money. The bottom. The guy, head fake, looking, got good wheels, got great time, and fires it out of bounds. The guy, blitz comes. He runs right into it and is swallowed up by DJ Schramm. And now this gets a lot trickier for Utah State. Yes, it does. DJ Schramm gave Hunter coming down from the second level. Boise State was waiting on that. They baited it. That this play coming up. With two timeouts, they could get the ball back feasibly, but not with very much time at all. The Aggies need this badly. Tyler in the backfield with Lagoff. Fourth and nine. Got to get to the five for a first down. Broncos bring three. Lagarde fires, and it's picked off! Intercepted there! Gabe Hunter! A minute 30 left. Hunter with the interception. The defense holds. Lagarde telegraphed this ball the whole way. Great job with the one-handed tip to himself by Gabe Hunter. The edge player out in space. George Tarlis is down. To Happened in about a minute and a half. So this one isn't over. And Green pulls it. Now it might be. Green to the 20. Green to the 30. Green's midfield. He's got to go. Touchdown, Boise State. 91 yards. Many have compared him to Vince Young. Taylor Green gets outside 91 yards later.
the Broncos essentially putting this one away. He's got what you call long speed, Rich. He's not real quick, but in the open field, he's got that sprinter speed. We've heard comparisons to Vince Young. We've heard comparisons by Craig Bull, Wyoming's coach, to his very own Josh Allen. And they don't run green much, but when they do, boy, is he deadly. No questions about the heart of this team that has found ways to win now eight times in a row in conference. For the next week and a half. Look out, look out. Hit dropped. Boise State. How about Andrew Simpson today? And there's more players down, though, for the Broncos. That might have been a costly sack. Loss of seven. Twelve. And the guys throw, that's intercepted. Broncos have another pick. Oh, the depot is in. Touchdown. Well, that'll keep the mojo going into the Mountain West Championship game. That's on Jackson. That is number 90 in the fours. First on sport, like of the game. Who's playing for the Herb Herbert Gums, who missed this game. Just a great job by Oladipo with the pick six. And you can't blame Cooper Lagasse. Stays was there. inbounds there. Look Blake Anderson sending the message. He's going to give Tyler some more run here. Add to what has been a terrific year for him. And it is over. The regular season, that is. On to the Mountain West Championship game for Boise State. They'll take on Fresno State on this field next week. For Aaron Taylor, Amanda Guerra, Gene Steratore, our entire CBS crew, I'm Rich Waltz. So long from Boise. Broncos win it. We'll get you back to Adam Zucker and company. College football today presented by State Farm right after these messages. Have a great weekend. Goodbye from Boise.